All right, we got the truck and trailer hooked up, about to load the Corvette. Ordered a set of these race ramps. If you have not used race ramps, these are so convenient. They don't weigh anything because they're made out of, I don't know, like a styrofoam material. These are specifically for trailers. Tilt will go right here against this crevice and then the car will roll right up. So let me show you how easy this is. So right up to the edge about that. That should be perfect. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, on the money, dude. Now we just drive it up, but I mean, this makes it a one person job. It's just me loading the trailer and uh, should go right up with no issues. All right, it was so hot this day that the camera kept overheating. So most of the content that I have is from my iPhone and from the GoPro, but I'll walk us through it. This was a top 32 competition put on by CMD. They put on awesome events. This is the first competition that I've went to, so I'm really excited to see how their competitions go. All right, we're all loaded up. Now time to get to the track. Get in there. You got it. Oh, you need help? <laughs> oh, good girl. You gonna be driving? Why does it look like you've been crying? Huh? Why you been crying? So I'm getting ready to go out for practice and I wanted my focus here to be on the lead because qualifying is all about your lead run. So since this is a brand new track to me, I want to make sure I can fill all the zones. I also went up to the judges, talked to the judges to see what I could do differently. And in doing so, I'm hoping that that's going to give me a really good run. All right, we're getting ready to go out. Never been on this track before. No idea what to expect, but we're still going to send it. If you scoot the seat forward more. fact about this car that a lot of people do not know is that it is still on leaf suspension in the back I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it you might be able to see it down there but uh, yeah it's cool being able to keep up with basically pro-am cars even though it's still leaf suspension in the back cars holding up pretty well um, I had to zip tie this out of the way because last time the car was used it ripped the batteries out or it ripped this battery out yanked a ton of wires out so some of the wires got jacked up we're still on the headers a little bit, um, but for now, this will work. 
Let's just go do the best that we can. So qualifying format is you get three runs and your top score is what they select. What was interesting is they don't provide you your scores, so you really don't know where you place. I think there was only 31 drivers, so I wasn't worried about missing competition, but I still wanted to be in the top five range, so I put on the best runs right, that I could. six out of 32 so we're gonna go up against um, I think somebody that qualified 26th or 27th however that works out overall the track is pretty gnarly um, it is on the infield so not super fast but still a lot of fun um, so we're about to go line up right now and hopefully give them hell all right evidently I uh, chase first I qualified six and qualified I don't know what <laughs> Chase hard. 
Good job. Now in top 16, I'm going against this 350Z and this driver was putting on an absolute clinic all day in practice, so I knew I couldn't leave anything to chance. So I needed to put down as close to a 100 point qualifying run as I could because I knew this driver was going to do the same. So after my lead run, I check with my spotter and my spotter tells me a zero. So that tells me that the chase driver must have had an incomplete. I didn't see it. It sounded like he was with me for the most part the whole time. But again, I'm gonna listen to my spotter and that means that I can go ahead and put in a good chase, but there's no need to risk anything and potentially incomplete myself. So at the end of the run, Good we run. get the win, and now we advance to top eight. All right, we are in the top eight, going against the third place qualifier. We qualified sixth. This guy's been shredding all day. I think we chase first. So I chase first and I get thrown off by his flick into the first clipping point and that kind of throws me off for the main outer zone. This is outer zone one. You can see in this view he actually misses outer zone one entirely and then he goes off track. You can see him hit the barrel at the end. So it was honestly kind of hard to chase this but nonetheless I knew that my little mess up in the beginning I had to put it on. So now that I'm going out for my lead I'm going to absolutely put it on the wall and try to fill the zones as best I can. Now this track, as I mentioned, is a very tight technical track and I make a grave mistake at the end here. Let's just let it play through. Oh! 
Now let's play it back. You'll notice that what I do towards the end of the final outer zone is I look back to see where the chase driver is. I should not have done that because in that split second, that's all it took for me to carry momentum just far enough over the finish line to hit into the concrete barrier. I did not mess up the car or anything like that. I hit just the rear tire. But on Corvettes, they have a rear tie rod, similar to how most cars have a front tie rod. It is designed, in fact, to kind of bend under impact. That way you don't break anything else. And that's exactly what happened to me. So I ended up taking myself out of competition. I think this battle probably would have gone one more time just because he made mistakes in his lead. I made mistakes in my chase. But nonetheless, that took us out. Overall, though, this was an incredible event i'm super happy with finishing i think that puts me finishing at uh seventh so seventh out of 31 or 32 cars is really good for my first competition this year and again i can't give the staff at catch my drift enough credit this was such an amazing event everything just flowed so smoothly i was super impressed with tire consumption as well i think i only went through maybe eight tires the entire day even though it was brutal heat out there so it really just showcases the capability of these cosmo tires i'm really really impressed with them and if you're interested in getting tires for your car whether it's for autocross daily driving or drifting check them out at cosmotires.com and i also have a discount code i will place in the description so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe if you're new here and we'll catch you next time